Oh boy. They're gonna attack us. Mean you no harm, Kovax will only exterminate if requested units aren't delivered. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, these guys are red. This is like bad news. Or not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess that doesn't didn't even matter. <laughs> Did that really collect everything and then say that it was all full? It's not full. Uh, what is this? Is a red planet. I warped to a red star. Uh, the reason why selenium, cadmium, phosphorus. Okay. The reason why I decided to start recording was because this is our fifth warp. And it seems to be that is what y'all are saying is the kind of telltale sign that we will interact with a freighter. Are there only two planets here? What is on this planet? Lost red planet. Okay, maybe we'll go here. My companion is ready to lay an egg. Match into a new companion, just like its parent. Or you can visit the and sequence it to genetically modify. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Induce the egg. Strain. Oh my gosh. This is kind of weird. I tried to use one of those charts on this planet and it said that there was like locational interference. Uh, so this appeared. Don't really know what this is. Um, seems kind of interesting. Uh, it looks like a raider or something. But I honestly don't know. Yeah, it's definitely a freighter. Doesn't really look like there's any way to board it or anything. I guess there's nothing. Now we're gonna go to this planet. It's a boiling planet. Sounds lovely. All of the planets in this red star system are like super hot. Uh, let's go to the sunny side. I'll explore around just briefly to see if there's any sort of like settlement or anything, but I don't think there is. I don't think any of these planets have anything on them except for like rare goods. Because in that other planet, I got this. Got 14 of these sack venoms. And uh, so I figured that's just something that we can trade. Ah, we are getting a message ah so this is this is the the pirates i guess ah okay so this this is the freighter what in the whoa boy yeah take that you guys have such bad ships man Incoming message. Oh, go, they go, da, 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 da. 
He's impressed. Life form who must be the captain looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard. Sure. Freighter signal detected. Uh. Where is the freighter? Up here. Ah, hello there, freighter. I must go on the other side. I think this is a cooler freighter. It looks cooler. Maybe it's just because the colors are different, but I don't know. Speak to the captain. Your assistance will be rewarded. So I know we're not going to actually take this ship unless it is like A class or above. Because uh, we can always record more. Let's learn a bit about freighters. I already know a decent amount, but making money. Buy a freighter, board it, and speak to the captain. Saving a freighter from pirates will make it cheaper. When on a planet, summon your freighter to your current system. Players with freighters may own up to six starships. Purchase ships as they fly into the freighter's docking bay to store them on board. The freighter offers advanced warp capability. Use the map on the bridge to access the galaxy map. Freighters offer large inventories. Slots on freighters can store large stacks, larger stacks than any other inventory type. Transfer items to your freighter from inventory using X to retrieve stored items. Speak to the captain. Larger, more expensive freighters offer the largest inventories. Freighters allow onboard construction, place base building parts in the designated construction area to make a portable base. Place storage containers for extra inventory space. Awesome. Factions and standing. Standing is a measure of your reputation. Offering gifts. Yes, yes, yes. I already know about this. Um, kind of want a ship to land in here. Ah, speak of the devil, and they shall be shall be at the blah blah blah. All right, Admiral Wool, what are you offering me here? Holy battle, Viking! The alien barks a loud battle cry as I approach. So celebrating our victory. They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. I would like to inspect this first. It's a B class, so it's not great. So we're going to leave it and take payment instead. Okay, it gave us 307 chromatic metal. That's, uh,. That's it. So I guess now we should do some extra warping. Today I'd love to be able to maybe get a freighter. I think that would be really cool just to see what happens. Oh, I guess that guy left. This guy seems a little bit uh, <clears throat> on edge. So let's maybe offer him some sustenance. He, the rage bubbles in the warrior, perceiving insult in the kindly meant gesture. It was not their own weakness or hunger that landed them here. It was the weakness of their ship. Makes a vulgar gesture towards their starship, seeming to resent it for failing them. I am welcome to investigate it, it seems. Our ship is only lightly damaged. Its navigation is still actively targeting coordinates in a nearby system. Judging by the movement of the target, it is almost certainly another ship, perhaps only one hyperdrive jump away. A curiously, a cursory examination reveals that both the launch thrusters and hyperdrive have been drained of fuel. It seems a simple empty tank is the source of all of the warrior's frustrations. We'll, we'll just fuel both. Both the launch thruster and the hyperdiver are now fueled. This ship is fully prepared to navigate directly to its coordinates. Roars with thanks give to me a generous portion of their cargo. Their ship is strong again. Their target's cow cowardly flight has come to an end. The Viking eyes glitter with bloodlust. Wave farewell. Well. This is a pretty cool ship. Get out of here, Sentinel. Yeah, this is a really cool ship. The C class, though. Man, I like, <clears throat> I like the look of it. 
It's a $13 million ship, so I'm definitely taking it. It's got 32 slots. It's like the exact same thing, I'd say, as mine. Just a little worse off. Yeah, I like the look of this one. I'm gonna claim it. Yeah, this ship looks really cool. I I like it. I think we're gonna sell it though because it's worth 13 million and it's a C-Class, so it's not really worth keeping. Ours is already fixed up and has more inventory slots and stuff. So. Holy, another one of those crashed freighters. Let me know if there's anything to do with these that I'm missing, but there doesn't seem to be any, any interactability with it, so I'm just moving on. Another one of these bad boys. This is, I believe, our third warp? Maybe our second. Oh, this is different. What's going on here? is much different than the other one. This is like a black hole. Weird. All right, let's check our inventory. Doing well. I got some storm crystals from a crazy planet. Uh, it was very toxic. Uh, but, okay, let's get this. Oh, did I just land on one? I must have landed on one get as many of these as possible. I don't think they all give things, so more warp cells. Unity of Kachapamalama. Endless Ropus. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveler? Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen the Atlas craft of this existence? The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars, the Phyllis skies, and the hatred that burns within the deep. Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Sure. I take the gift of knowledge, certain in my decision. All doubts are silenced and the stars await me. In globed shade, the Atlas shell holds the remains of a parasitic space-born life form, most likely of extra-dimensional origins. It requires a captured nano, which is what we got last time. I'm kind of curious. If I make this, we can then make this englobed thing, and I I really don't know what it's for. I will just sell it now, but I am just kind of curious. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to this distress signal. Okay. Uh, where's the settlement? Emergency broadcast repeater. Interesting. I don't know what this is. This was a, I started recording because this is our 10th warp. And so I was trying to see if uh, we would get another freighter activity going on. Uh, but we got this instead, which is, well, okay. I'm fine with it. This is something new. So this will be cool. No idea what this is. Oh, it's a settlement. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's in like a crater. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool because it's like almost guarded. New, now approaching the planetary settlement. The outpost status is vulnerable. Okay, this is a part of the update. We've located a struggling planetary settlement fighting against harsh conditions and constant sen sentinel harassment. Speak with the ci citizens to learn more and to assist them in their efforts to build the town. Become the overseer and help grow the settlement. Make decisions about buildings and research in a brewed town. Interesting. He was sitting not on the chair. Traveler entity. The settlement must be the source of the distress signal. What are they doing here? Building a life exposed to the harsh planetary existence battered by the elements. 
ask about the signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wail of siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. The sentinels have arrived. Holy balls. What's going on with those? So the sentinels are attacking this settlement. That's weird. That's a cool ship. Only 445,000, though. Uh, investigate the settlement. Speak with a survivor to learn more. Okay, hold on. I want to read about planetary settlements. So, a well-managed settlement will produce plenty of materials, enough that a successful overseer may claim surplus resources each day. However, unproductive ones may go into debt, construct new buildings, and set new policies from the overseer's warning. Settlements will periodically attract the attention of sentinel forces. Check the current sentinel alert level from the settlement management interface. The overseer may have to defend the settlement against settlement attacks. Ah. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. Uh, well, this is really the first time that the settlement is actually like, uh, guys, you you have some weeds growing inside. What are you doing? You're terrible at sitting in chairs, my guy. The Corvax Buzz is grateful for the assistance, but it's clear they are tired, worn down from the fight. If no one else helps, I fear their settlement will not last much longer. I'll accept their thanks. Perhaps I could assist him. The overseer position appears to be newly vacant. Come settlement overseer. Visit the settlement hub. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we're going to become the settlement overseer? Planetary duty da current overseer is missing or deceased. Overseer position vacant. I guess we'll apply. Uh, let's see. It costs two hundred some thousand. It's a B level settlement, so it ain't like bad. Sentient alert levels twenty two percent. Gravitational anomalies. Occasional population loss. What in the? Imp so hold on. It's got undrinkable water. This is horrible. I, <laughs> sure, whatever. We'll do it, and then I'm sure we can get rid of it if we don't want to deal with it. Okay, supply, silicate powder. Okay, well, we will apply that. Uh, we're not going to be doing this today. But what we can do is build a portal here, right? Okay, we're just gonna put a save point here because then that gives us, I think a little beacon or something. Symbol materials to construct metal plating of five. All right, we're, I'll do this a little, give me a, a moment. I'm gonna just do some of this and see what happens, but I'll keep recording in case something crazy happens. Well, the office is constructed. Plenty of floor. Oh, okay, cool. There's a teleporter right in here. Okay, that's awesome, actually. Yeah, that's sick. 
Sweet. Okay. That makes me feel better. What in the heck is this? Settlement administration? View construction opportunities. Approve a saloon. Happiness goes up 6%. Productivity. Um... 43% approved for the bio shed. Let's go with the bio shed because the majority is, is voting for that. Um, let's see what they, I know they're not very happy right now, right? Yeah, they're, they're heinously unhappy. Our debt is growing. Nice. Uh, and how do you even pay your debt? I don't even know. Analyst? Hey, analyst, how's it going? Waiting for what? Trying to look busy. Good job. Get these plants and rocks out of my... <laughs> uh, it seems like this is definitely a little bit a buggy right now. How long is this going to take? Man, I don't even know. Reduce debt by constructing buildings and investing in settlement features to increase that. Okay, well, we will, um... Uh... I don't even know. Oh, do we... And then we... I'm guessing we have to collect resources and stuff to do exactly the building and all that jazz. Why is it all the way over here? Yes, I bet. So we need chromatic metal. Okay. Okay, I see how this is gonna work. Okay, we will do this a little bit later. We're not gonna do it now. I'm gonna continue warping so we can maybe get a freighter. So I will be back after I've warped like one more time. I was born with everything I needed to explore these worlds. My exosuit, my ship, every tool and every impulse led me to scan and give name to whatever I could find. But this, I can give no name to what I see. Within the orb, I see worlds that never were. I see the stirring of something primal and undeniable. I see the death cry of a god or something in approaching it it wants me to persist on in this journey seeking fragments of its interface the stones of the atlas it rejoices in my repetition my compliance my cloud of unknowing i'm kind of curious what happens if i refuse interesting well we can concede might as well I will commit myself to the voyage in all things. New, new spheric orb, an atlas seed capable of resonating on humanoid telepathic frequencies may attempt to subsume any subordinate intellect in close proximity. Huh. Interesting. I, I feel like this is like you're meant to gather all of them like we're getting a a seed at every single one and they like build upon each other like i imagine to make the that other seed we would need the englobe shade yeah and then so it's just like building on itself so i kind of imagine that we need all need to visit all of them and get all of the seed recipes and so and I don't know what the requirements are. It seems like it's like things you've reached. I don't know exactly. All right, so we can, this is an S tier herald of certainty type of thing. And we can um, compare it to our current multi-tool, which I have our garbage one equipped and we can exchange it. And I think that would be a good call because it's just plain better. And we could like specialize this to be the like the more weaponry based one, perhaps. Or perhaps this is the mining one. I'm not really sure. Um, the freak is this. Oh. Stimulus life form, deplorus impulse, replorus rest. What in the heck is this? Oh! What is this?
This is a different type of a uh, thing. This one's way more intact. What? What is it? It's all red. Is that just because of the? It may just be because of the star. Yeah, this one's way more intact. Whoa, this guy's like fully intact. Oh, you can break these. Ooh. Whoa, we got chromatic metal from that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now I know you can break those things. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering what in the world we were supposed to be doing with these. Okay, well, there's no more um, things, so I'm going to continue my path down. If anything, flying like this seems to be a really easy way to encounter those weird things, so onward to the sun. Let's see what this egg sequencer thing is. We'll put Purpy Pose egg in there. Growth hormone. Interesting. Let's give him some cobalt. So his weight and height would decrease. Okay, no, no. Let's uh, let's do star bold. Okay, weight and height would decrease. Ah, weight and height increase. Beautiful. Gene splitter. Try cobalt. Unstable. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. We had two unstables and uh, something else. So a living fertile egg. This egg has had its genetic material resequenced. Scans indicate the being within has the genetic potential to be very large and aggressive. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> let's hatch the egg. Egg still developing. Oh, it'll be ha ready to hatch in a full day. Okay. Well, that's cool. We'll have an aggressive egg, I suppose. All right, I think this might be our freighter that is under attack. Yes, there is a nearby freighter under attack. Where are they? Okay, there's one behind us, that's fine. Okay, that guy is toast. That was easy. Are you an enemy? No. You? Yes, you. Hopefully I'm not like not trying to to kill the freighter. Alright, there's another bad guy. Nope, he just exploded. Fine. Somewhere around here. This guy. Okay. You're gone. There's a guy. I'm more around him. Ah, there. There's one and more or two more. Close right there. One moss, where? Right there. Gone. Nice. Please, Hibar, board the vessel. All right, let's see. What type this is? Let's inspect the freighter, but yeah, it's a C tier. It looks epic, but it is a C tier. So we will accept payment. How do we have room? Yeah, we have plenty of room. I will request payment instead. All right, chromatic metal. Uh, I suppose that's worth it. We have 3,000 chromatic metal. 
That's pretty good. Oh, let's check this. Well, let's go, I guess, to the space station, and then I'll keep uh, warping around until we find another freighter. And then if that one doesn't work out, then we'll continue the search maybe next episode. Guys, we just found an exotic ship. Oh my gosh. And it's not even like crazy expensive. Or at least I don't think it is. Whoa, this thing is crazy looking. What is it? Just an exotic. It only costs six min. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're totally buying this. Ooh, this is cool. I don't. It doesn't seem like super great. But it's an S class and it's an exotic. So. Go ahead and buy it. Oh, 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 this is cool. I'm gonna fly this one around just because it is the one with all the storage. So this will be like our hauling type of one. And then we can use the exotic one for, I don't even know what, I don't even know if that's a good one. It might just be worth selling or something or I don't know. It's cool looking, but I honestly no idea, but let's keep exploring. Summon felon. -ni 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 -ni. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. It did not get bigger, though. Actually, it probably did. Here, hold on. Hold on, bro. Stop. Stop your complaining. We need carbon. We have no carbon. Hold on. And one more. There we go. Good boy or girl. I don't know. We will uh, see if this is bigger in a moment, but uh, I'm going to continue warping. Uh, it's the next day, so that's why I'm, I may sound a bit more chipper. Um, so. I'm going to keep warping. We're going to try one last time to get a freighter. I've warped a couple times now, so it should be soon. And we're just going to go for it. And of course, when I take a phone call, that is when we get thrown into the battle. So let's kill us some pirates. Nearby freighter is under attack. Oh, no. It's too bad they're all dead. Oh, no. Look, this ship blew up. That was I thought it was a cool looking ship, but it really wasn't. Where is where is he? Where is he? I have learned that this uh, this uh, combat. Ouch! I should probably not hit the uh, the the freighter that I may be buying. And where are you at? Okay, you're right there. And dead. I actually kind of like the photon the photon cannons. I think they're pretty good. Geez, trying to figure out using the map. Aha! Uh -huh. You wombat! Yeah, how about you die? And that's it, right? Yeah, we defeated him. What does this, uh... This thing look like? Okay, well, hold on. Let's get invited on Ogle Duggle Wiggle Taga Interloper Request. And we'll board. And if this does not... If this does not prove to be, let's get a better look at this, a a good one, then I guess we'll just have to continue the search. Uh, I'm kind of hoping this one's good. I cannot tell. I honestly have no idea what to look at. We are going to not look, scan it. I'm going to go up and talk to the captain because I know I could scan it, but the drama is not there if I do that. So we're going to, firstly, any, any vehicles coming in? No. Are spaceships considered vehicles? I would consider them a vehicle. I, yeah, I think it's a vehicle. Anywho, let's go talk to the captain. Captain, my captain, please give me an A or better freighter if not my warping journey is not over it will be for today's episode but it's not over 
Gah, pathetic interloper. Something, something, something. Barks aloud, battle cry. All right. You have a C class. You're worse than the other one. I should have taken. It looks cool, though. No. I'm sorry. Just give me payment. How much stuff do I got? Oh, I got plenty of room. I got so much room, pathetic interloper. Blah, blah, blah. And just give me payment. <sighs> All right. Well, I was hoping we would get a freighter today, but alas, guys, we're not anywhere. Well, we may be close. We're closer to getting a freighter, but I need to do some more jumping around. And if I happen to find it, you know the process and I'll record the acquiring of it. But other than that, man. Taking a while. You can definitely tell how much I have been searching for this darn thing. Because look how much our inventory has expanded. I have purchased so much because we have been to so many different uh, space stations to upgrade the space here. We've got more room here. We've got a, a little bit more room here. More room in the in the big storage cargo thing. I need to actually like move <laughs> these. I need to sell these. I'm, I've been trying to find. I bought all of them from a system, and I've been. And then I was trying to see like how the prices fluctuate, but didn't really fluctuate. So now I have a lot of these, but they're used in building, so I don't really. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, but yeah, we have tons of space here now, and I like it. We also have gotten quite a few. We have not a few multi-tool expansion slots, but we have gotten a uh, freighter slot i believe and a um two spaceships two spaceship slots i think i'm not exactly sure what we've gotten uh but then and um, i i did get rid of one of the uh weapons i'm thinking about i think i'm gonna get rid of the bolt caster as well because i mean it's not yeah we're just gonna do it now i don't ever use it i literally only use a scatter blaster because it's just a straight up shotgun and i love it um so yeah we're gonna just focus on the scatter blaster because i think that makes sense we've got quite a few upgrades and then i've got absolutely as maximum as i could of course i could get more s class ones to try and get the absolute maximum ones but this is pretty darn good i would say um better scan radius better flora it's just overall better now that is how i've been trying to make money as you can see we have like 13 million and that has been that's from like expanding so many times. Like I've probably spent like two and a half million expanding all our inventory and all that stuff. So I think that's pretty good. This definitely helps. Like you just go down on a planet, scan a couple things, and then you're good. I also forgot this is S tier. We should upgrade this because I, I do like the little alien bit of this. I think it's cool. We do have another one as well, but uh, that's okay. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know we did not get a uh, our freighter, but that's OK. We did get that new ship. If I can, uh, I don't think I'll be able to call it here, but uh, if I can, I will. Let's see. Can I call it here? No. Cannot call it sad days, but we did find that it's a little unfortunate shaped, but um, any, any of you who have flown that ship know what I mean, uh, but that's OK. It's a, it's a cool. It's an, an exotic one. I, what should I make it? What should I make that exotic ship? Should I make it a fighter? Should I make it a, a traveler one? I'm kind of thinking that's one that we would just take around and like go exploring and stuff or make it into a fighter. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what we should be doing with it. So uh, let me know down below, like, which one. Come on, dude. Keep looking at the audience. Oh, my gosh. You're trying to move your head. Oh, OK. We're going to go right here. I don't know exactly what to make it in terms of upgrades and stuff. Oh, speaking of upgrades, I have these. I found these. Suspicious Starship Shield Module. I have not opened it or anything. I wasn't going to open it because I'm waiting to put it on a good ship. Um, I'm just curious what these are. If you know what they are, let me know. I bought two of the shield ones because I thought they were interesting um so yeah let me know because i i'm very interested to see what in the world it is uh other than that i think that's gonna be where we call it for today's episode because boy howdy have i been doing a lot of stuff and we've got a lot done in this episode we have a new base we have a new uh, exotic ship and i've been to like 
18 stars now and all warped all over the place. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, bye bye.